slavery, an underground world that few people know about. Human trafficking, the smuggling of unsuspected women and men or girls and boys slavery, sold to the sex. An underground world that few people know about. Human trafficking, the smuggling of unsuspected women and men or girls and boys sold into the sex trade. This exploitation is happening in Canada and in our city. And tonight we begin a three-part series investigating this issue. Here's Jill Croteau. They are concealed, hidden away from the world, kept captive, forced to satisfy strangers. It's a place where innocence is traded for profit. Young women and men bought and sold for sex. Like the one thing when you do this job, you can't lose sight of who you are. You're a different person when you walk in the room. If you forget to do that, you get lost and you don't even know who you are anymore. An industry based on deception, manipulation, coercion. It's a dirty secret. But the flesh trade is finding a home in this country. Natalie, I just got into town and I'm looking for some company. Human trafficking is a very real and very uncomfortable truth in our city. I don't know anything more dangerous than what we're doing here. The undercover detective and his vice partner spend night after night recruiting girls to hotel rooms. Hi, Dahlia, how are you? I'm good, you? Good. Are you busy tonight? The intent isn't to arrest them, but to protect them. It's like showing them that there there are other doors that they can open outside of the hotel rooms. And sometimes that means reminding them what's at risk. So, heaven forbid anything ever happened to you, who would be notified? There's no sugarcoating it. There's no glamorizing it. You have a victim and an individual that cares nothing about this person other than the fact that at the end of the day, you need to bring me money. They rarely earn enough to buy their own freedom. Instead, they face violent repercussions. When it happens, you like panic. And then you think about it. You know, and then it's just the next call. And that's the sad proof. Constantly in demand, she is the commodity. Traffickers have the kind of greed that cannot be satisfied. They earn, on average, $280,000 for each victim under their control. You can't leave and you can't stop if you wanted to. There's a deadline. You know what I mean? It's like 50 Gs and another 50 more. We got Jenna, 24, Sasha, open-minded. The exploitation has gone even deeper underground, making these traffickers hard to catch. The business is mostly online. New to the business, new to the city, 19 years of age, red flag. Images clog the internet, streams of ads drive authorities to search for underage girls, those being held against their will. Some as young as 12. Two of the girls staying at two different hotels, it's a 24-7 operation. These girls also had someone in the background. If you're tired, I don't care. Calgary police intervened and rescued those women, taking them to a safe house. The majority of them are broken. They're, they're, they're done. Some of them don't want to live anymore. Some of them have been badly beaten. Once they're ready to escape, they need a place to run to. It's hard when somebody phones me and pleads. I need to come in. I need a bed. I need somewhere safe. He's, I, I can't do this anymore. I can't be with another six guys tonight. I can't do it. Um, and if I don't have a bed, I, I don't know where. It's really hard. Those in the business of giving them a sanctuary say it's about time society takes the blinders off. There is a brilliant opportunity uh, for all of us now to start educating uh, people across Canada about this issue in particular. But there's no true scope of how big this issue is. Researchers say it's almost impossible to quantify because few ever come forward. Whatever will that they had was stripped from them and they had no reserves to fight. Their basic essence was one of survival. And that is something that cannot be ignored. The unfortunate fact is, and it's something that the general public is very naive about, is that we have a very serious problem. Jill Crotel, Global News. Now, Jill, you spent a lot of time researching this story. Yeah, that's right. We spent close to a year tracking this. A lot of these women have been shamed into silence, so it was clearly a real struggle finding some of them who would be willing to share their stories. We've traveled to Vancouver and Toronto to talk to frontline agencies and even survivors, all in hopes of giving this issue some deserved exposure. Tomorrow, our series continues. We're going to take you to the downtown east side, where some of these women wind up falling further into the trap. We also hear from a mother whose daughter was manipulated and sold into the sex trade and her brave journey to find her. Thanks, Jill. You're welcome. Now, also, 
online, you'll find extended video of the Vice Unit Sting, and you can watch it as it all unfolds. Also, the complete interview with Natalie, a single mother who gives us a sobering perspective on the flesh trade. You'll find both online extras along with Jill's story at globalnews.ca slash calgary.